Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to be looking at Hess's law. So relating some entropies of combustion and entropies of formation together to get us an unknown value. Now you should be aware of what the definition of Hess's law is. That is the entropy change is independent of the root of the reaction. In other words, the energy change going straight from A to C is exactly the same as taking a detour via B. So the sum there of the energy of 1 plus 2 would equal 3. Now this question is from the January 2011 paper. If you would like to look it up fully, I haven't written it all out just to save some space on the board. But what it's actually asking is to work out the enthalpy of combustion for butane 1 ohm. Now if you don't recognise the organic name here, don't worry, we will be doing a bit more later in the year on that, along with introducing some more of the functional groups. Now in order to find this out, we've been given a bit of help. The enthalpy of formation values over here. But obviously these values, we can't just put in there. We need to do a Hess's cycle in order to use them and find out the enthalpy of combustion here. Now you should be aware of what the definition for enthalpy of formation is. It will pick you up three marks in the exam just for writing it down. It is when one mole of a product is formed from its elements with everything in their normal state under standard conditions. So a quantity, the one mole, the process, formed from its elements and the condition, everything in their normal state under standard conditions. Chimps can remember things. You are supposed to be more evolved than a chimp. Do not be outsmarted. It is embarrassing. So this is the energy required to make butane one all from its elements. So look at the reaction. Think what elements do we need to make all of this stuff? So hopefully you can see all we've got is carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So we will put these down the bottom here. Now notice the states what I've put in. We set in their normal states under standard conditions. So oxygen, you are breathing it in right now. You are not choking on a solid. Hopefully not. If you are, get somebody to help you. Similar with hydrogen and carbon as a solid. If you've got any pencils near you, graphite, so forth, solid. So now, looking at the equation, we are going to put some of these numbers in. So the enthalpy of formation here yeah, to make butane 1 of. Now, do I need to do anything to that value? Think back to what the definition was. To form one mole from its elements. How many moles are we forming? One, as you can see. So I do not need to do anything to that number. I can leave it as it is. Now, the enthalpy of formation for oxygen. Notice we weren't giving it across here. Can you think of why? Well, if you're starting with oxygen as an element and you want to make oxygen, do you actually need to do anything? No. You are already there. It's still an element. You do not need to provide or release any energy from it in order to convert it. So, it is zero. Any element here, the enthalpy of formation would be zero. Now, look across to the other side of the reaction. Carbon dioxide. We've been given a value of minus 394. But again, hopefully you should be thinking back to what the definition is now and clicking what we need to do to that number. How many moles are we making? Four. So what do I need to do? Multiply by four. And the hydro the water, sorry. So water minus 286. How many moles are we making? Five. So I need to multiply this number by five. So we have completed our Hess's cycle. We've inserted the numbers. Now think back to what I said before. We imagine this is root 1. 
So around there, starting from here, going round, think of it like a one-way street. You must follow the arrows. So follow the arrow, follow the arrow, cannot come back down there. This is route one, made up of the enthalpy of the change here and the enthalpy of the change there. Route two, follow the arrow, cannot go back that way, one-way streets. So this total here is pathway number two. So now, if we look at Hess's law, it says that the enthalpy change for reaction one here plus the enthalpy change of two should equal the enthalpy of number three. Total, minus 327 plus unknown. That's what we're looking for. Equals. Now, if you just punch those in on a calculator, I'm just going to do that myself. Minus 3,006 kilojoules per mole. So now all you simply need to do is a little bit of rearranging with this to find out your answer. So how do we find out delta H2? Simple, delta H3 take away delta H1. So again, if you punch those in on a calculator, it should get you your answer for delta H2. Always remember your sign again, and similar with your units. You will gain or lose marks for having these. And that is pretty much it. One thing to think about at the end though is, since we've said the definition for enthalpy of formation, think about the definition for what enthalpy of combustion is. Hopefully you should be able to look that up, have it in your notes with you. It states one more completely burnt in oxygen. It's not the full definition, you check that. Notice here, we are burning one more completely. So do we need to do anything to that number? No, that is our answer. That is for one mole being completely burnt. So there we have an example for the definitions of enthalpy of formation, combustion, and how to do a Hess cycle.